Welcome back to the Artie Lang Show. Sitting here with comedian John Moses, who this Thursday will be at the Rebel Hotel and Casino doing his act here in Atlantic City. You've been to Atlantic City before? Yeah, uh, but just to hang out, we like went through one of the casinos right. and watched like, the homeless population shuffle around in the streets. <laughs> yeah, Atlantic City is one of those uh, yeah. places where they do not, the, the casinos do not give back to the community. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you make a, you, you go out to Trump Taj, make two rights, and it is, woohoo! Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. They yeah. still had, like, one of those, uh, you know, those old-timey, like, viewing booths, popping a quarter and watching right. a, whole, you know, <laughs> a couple of bang or something. Oh, it's disgusting. Oh, yeah, it's so wonderful. Right, right. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that, that place in Miami... Like, Miami, South Beach has that strip where literally it's, like, the richest people on the planet Earth having fun with each other. And then literally two blocks away, it's, like, uh, your your money or your life. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you know, the, the Atlantic City, I, they, they always come under the gun for that, too. Like, give back to the community. They just never do. They just laugh in our faces. Right, right, right. Uh, but, uh, no, stay, so stay at the Revel in your suite. <laughs> drive in, drive out. Right, get out. Right. Now, you uh, you mentioned, you, that's a good point uh, as a comic. Like, that's a good gig to bring the fiancé to. You get points for that. Cause it's right. It's a fun thing, you know. And, right, right. Uh, you know, it, it shows her that you're, you know, you do something impressive for a living. Yeah, and, you know, it's just like a, like, you know, a casino. Like, I'm at Foxwoods in a couple of months. That's a nice there. place. Yeah, it's a great place. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, she does a little shopping, we have a nice meal, and right. there's a pool, and it feels like... Middle of the woods. Yeah. But as long as you stay inside, it's gorgeous. And there's enough to do to, to stay inside. Oh, no, it's so. great. I love Fox. Yeah, I, I host an amateur strip contest uh, every Thursday night at 2 in the morning. That, <laughs> that's the gig she stays at home for. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Honey, you might want to listen. Let's hold back on this one. You look tired. Right. Just right. get some rest. You got to work early. <laughs> reminds me, you're giving her like a list of things that reminds me that old dice joke. He goes... What's going to be the date? I'm going to take you out. I'm going to throw a cheeseburger down your throat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what, now, what, do you do the West Coast a lot? Do you like L.A.? No. I, in fact, I was just there. You know, we were honeymooning, and of course, I'm... And you running, went to California? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we did, you know, started in San Diego and, and wound up in uh, San Francisco. Beautiful really drive, nice. yeah. You know, I'm... You know, screwing off, mooching spots. Uh, on your honeymoon? Yeah. You're doing spots? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honey, this is so romantic. I just got a, I got a 1015. I got a 1015. I'm following uh, Carlos Mencia yeah. uh, at, the, at the store. So you might want to, you know. Uh, yeah, L.A. is a much different comedy scene than Right. It, yeah, it was. It, uh, was, it, it yeah. really is. Uh, you know, not the ones better or worse, but it's just different because you got to sort of, uh, you can't do as many spots as you can in New York. Right, and and just it was, a you know, not as gritty as, an, like, you know, you're no. getting a little gritty here. Right, and, absolutely. Uh, and I, I, you go there, and they're both, you know, fairly liberal compared to, you know, other places in the country. Definitely. I, you know, I, I do a, a joke on, a, you know, a bit, a good chunk on racism. And right. I, said, I would say, I'm racist, and I was in Texas. I didn't even get past I'm racist, and it's a half, <laughs> and a, a, half a standing O. That's vulnerable! <laughs> yeah. We like your ass. God, <laughs> water. Well, I know. Well, so, well, some people, they don't even let you get the context out. Right. Well, that's just yeah, it. Right. You know, they shut like, down. Hey, honey, you hear that? Hey, you're right. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and, uh, High five. Yeah, and, and, then I, and then I did the, you know, I start into the same bit in L.A. and, like, this Chinese girl in front looks like she's about to cry. Right, you know? right. Like, oh. Listen, if you make a Chinese girl in front cry, you're a winner. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's that's your goal in, in stand-up. Now, it's so, it really is, uh, now more than ever, political correctness runs rampant. And you, uh, they won't even, even people who call themselves intellectuals, right. won't even let you make the point of that bit where you're trying to be ironic. Where, where clearly, no, if you listen to the bit, I'm not racist. It's a joke. I'm but but you know they, they they don't tolerate it they won't hear it yeah right they, right. they, they have no time for it and they consider themselves smart in the old days uh, intellectuals would hear it and go oh, that's a clever bit that's right, funny right but uh, you know what are you gonna do right and you still you still and you, you know you still get those guys in the crowd and you know yeah <laughs> well, the, yeah. they'll come up to you and be like oh that was a great bit or that was a great <laughs> joke and, <laughs> right. particularly if it went rough you yeah know? <laughs> they're like well, just so you know you're on the right track it's for the people who like you know like those people who, who watched all in the family and laughed at Archie because they agreed with him. Like, right, yeah, like, right, 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 right. <laughs> he knew what he was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Me heads wrong. Uh, right. Uh, so, do you have any cities that you like playing the most? Like, uh, uh, so I find some of the some of the Midwestern towns. I uh, like so are good crowds, good solid crowds. Uh, Boston's a great comedy town. Yeah, Boston's yeah. Boston's a lot of fun. Yeah. 
Uh, you know, I always I always have fun when I'm in Philly. Philly's a great sports town. Yeah, Philly, you better be real, on top of your game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. real uh, blue collar. Definitely. Uh, you know, <laughs> Philly. Yeah, if you're not good at something, Philly lets you know. <laughs> yeah. You know, you play. He played for <laughs> NFL football yeah. there for two years. <laughs> two years you were there. Yeah. yeah. Good That's segue. Good segue. Place, <laughs> so, what, tell tell us about the uh, the other project, a word from Thomas and Big John. That's, oh. How, what? How does that fit in? I like the title. Yeah, it's like a sketch that yeah. you, yeah, you know, now, uh, have, ha, ha, how do we see that? But how is it we... just you in the sketch? No, no, I'm, I'm trying I'm trying to get the sketch together oh, right okay. now. Right, so right, I'm right. like doing a Kickstarter. It's not a Kickstarter, it's an Indiegogo campaign oh, cool. to raise the money. But like, you know, two blue collar guys walk into, uh, walk into an Irish bar. You know, one of them orders a cranberry juice, and the, his buddy looks at him and goes, "Cranberry juice? What are you a homo?" But he doesn't say homo. Right. And uh, <laughs> and then like the, the what music, are you a wuss? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and the music screeches to a halt, and everybody's like, "Oh my God, did he just say that?" Right. And then uh, and then a gay guy pulls a knife on him, and he's like, "What did you say? You got something to say?" And then I come in and break it up. <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> right. And then. And then, and then the guy turns the knife on me, so I so I look over to my buddy and I get him to help me, and he's like a little blue puppet. So the puppet oh. comes down and helps us, and then we break into song. And uh, okay, okay, you know, enough said. Where do I go to? Where do I go to get money? Kickstarter, Indiegogo, yeah, Indiegogo.com. So your buddy yeah. is a puppet the whole time. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. puppet appears. This is very. Oh yeah, the, my buddy's the puppet, and then we, you oh, know, it's right. like he's a part of this world, right? <laughs> And then so we sing the song and we try and bridge the gap and make everybody right. You know, and at together. the end, it's fine. And then the and then the gay guy stabs the puppet and the puppet bleeds out in my arms. And uh, <laughs> and as and as he's bleeding and he's dying there, I'm like, oh man, don't go, don't don't die. And he goes, <laughs> he goes, John, you're acting like a real homo right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you might get the you might get trouble from the puppet community. Yeah. <laughs> everybody is fine with yeah, they're it. They're lobbying. They, they, right they get the joke, but the puppet community. The be, th th there's a community for everything. I learned. Everything has a community. Right, Puppets, right, right. Sure And based on how active the community is, you can say things or you can't say oh, things. Oh, absolutely. You know? It is annoying. Sometimes you want to go as a comic. You're so annoyed by the sensitivity that you want to offend people just for the hell of it. Right, right. You know, and, and, and you don't even mean it. You're not even, you just want, you want to offend them just because I, I hate how sensitive you are. Shut up. Calm down. We're all adults. Right. right. What did you think when you were when you were paying the cover charge? Right. Know? No. No. Well, the people are not prepared for what they're about to see at a comedy club sometimes. But uh, look, grow up. India go go. Indi yeah. That's Indiegogo. Indiegogo. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna push that. Oh, thank you, man. I'm I appreciate I'll donate that. myself. I really. Uh, we're gonna that. take a break and back with more. <laughs> I want to hear more John Moses sketches after the. Welcome back to the Artie Lang Show. Here with the very funny John Moses. Uh, so set this up. John uh, does a cool thing. A mom voicemail. We edited a couple and uh, set this up, buddy. All right. Uh, I've, I come from a family of uh, alcoholic maniacs, and there's some <laughs> mental illness in there. I got like an uncle that was a murderer and another uh -huh. uncle that killed himself. That sounds like fun. <laughs> this good comedic. Uh, it's like the good fruits of you know. You know, you could help each other. Right? If the guy who killed himself went to the murderer and said, "Listen, could you help me out?" It's, uh, it's family <laughs> fun. <you know? laughs> um, so, uh, and my mom's no different, you know, and I'm an alcoholic. And anyway, um, six years ago, my brother was down here visiting. Right. And my mom got rip roaring drunk with her husband at the time, who's now dead. He drank himself to death. Wow. And, uh, <laughs> oh, liver? L liver went on him? Yeah, liver oh, went on him. Wow. Yeah, 50. Okay. Wow. And, uh, a lot of booze. He was, uh, he was pounding on her a bit that night. And which which Man. sounds which sounds terrible, but you know if you heard the things she was saying to him on a regular basis, you kind of like, like your, oh. I like your, I like your stuff. It's edgy. I like it. Oh, it's thank good. you, man. Thanks for refreshing. Um, <laughs> it is. I, I, mean, I, know, I, I hate that you went through this, but yeah. I like that it's, a lot of comics aren't as honest anymore. It's good. So um, so she started calling my brother, who was down here vacationing, getting yeah. wound up, saying, "Come home and save me." He's visiting me in Massachusetts. What am I going to do? Right, right. So I called her God. up. I said, leave the kid alone. You got a problem? Call the cops or get a divorce, you right. know? So then she... Some solid advice. Right. Because <laughs> we, we, you know, my brother... Okay. Uh, so then she phones me back and leaves 10 messages. I delete seven of them. Finally, my brother goes, listen, you got to save these. Okay. For okay. comedy. We got to do this quick. Yeah, I've, been waiting, I've been waiting six years to, to, to showcase these. So okay, there you go. Let's, let's do a couple. We had to do Next message. You can't even get a woman get help, son. You can't even keep a f***ing cat. At least Craig get a woman. Get f***ing help. <laughs> oh, my God. End message. Is that it? Was that the one? No. Uh, 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 there's one more. Okay, Next message. 
They're the one that declared war, son. <laughs> I guess cancer has for funks. It's great <laughs> cocking time. <laughs> Idiot. We sent you down there to be a <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and that is, and that is why love. why we become comedians. <laughs> that is hilarious. Right, right. Oh, she got a couple of pops in her there. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, she phoned back a couple of days later and apologized. She goes, "I just heard Alec Baldwin and what he said <laughs> to his daughter." <laughs> you know what? I think she beat him. Yeah. <laughs> you rude little pig. Yeah. How how great are those Baldwin voicemails? Knowing what that chick grew up to be now. Oh yeah. She's like. Uh, uh, another young Kim Passinger. Right, right. And she's, Super she, hot. Yeah, she's 11 at the time. You rude a little pig. Yeah. I know. But that, but that type of, like, brandishing makes you think that maybe you got a shot. <laughs> <laughs> no, right, exactly. I mean, at least Dad's paying attention. <laughs> that is extraordinary stuff. Again, you know, it is that, um, you know, uh, I'm no shrink, but it is that angst and that sort of... You know, you could go a couple of ways with that. If you're a smart guy, creative guy, you can become a comedian. If you're not, you become Charles Manson. Right. You know, right, it's, right, uh, right. but uh, yeah. listen, I'm glad you went the other way. Right, I towed the line for a little while there. Yeah, no, uh, right. You know, there's, uh, there's always that, uh, you know, we're well, exploring period. Right, right, uh, right, right. But uh, anyway, so uh, John Moses, come back anytime, brother. Oh, man, thanks so much for having really, me. Really, come back anytime. I enjoy it. Uh, this Thursday... He'll be at the Revel uh, Hotel and Casino in Atlantic City doing some stand-up. And his stand-up is influenced by that woman. Check this out. <laughs> I, would pay, I would pay more money for it. So uh, uh, once again, uh, thanks, John. Oh, yeah. Thanks very much, Artie. Yeah, and uh, come back anytime. When we come back, the great Joe Buck is going to do me a solid and come on and help me promote my book after this. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on audience, only on DirecTV.